Welcome everybody, welcome back to the Zeus Stars and Emulator Retro Game Channel and I go by the name of Zeus. And for this let's play I'm going to bring you an Amstrad game, an Amstrad conversion of Tempest. Actually a game I didn't know existed on the Amstrad. I know it didn't exist on the Commodore 64. Uh, I thought it only actually existed on the Spectrum uh, 48K. Uh, this was released by Electric Dreams back in 1988, I think. I could be wrong. It's somewhere between 86 and 88 anyway. Um, yeah, I didn't know this version existed until just literally a couple of weeks ago. Um, probably main reason is because I never really had I never had an, uh, an Amstrad anyway. I only had one briefly back in the early 90s for a couple of weeks because I just didn't um, uh, really enjoy the games on it. I, I found them uh, majority of the games, not all of them, but majority of the games were just too slow and um, lack of uh, lack of music compared to the other two 8 bits. So did a bit of uh, research and I suddenly I found this. I, I, same company, I released a Spectrum version and I got to say, um, and it's not often I say this, but this version is better than the Spectrum. Yes, I said it, this version is better than the Spectrum. Uh, I, I'm absolutely very, very uh, impressed by it. The differences between this and the Spectrum version is uh, on the Specky version, the aliens uh, on the grid are the same colour so they can be a bit difficult to spot whereas the Amstrad as you can see on this demo uh, they're green and the grid is red and if it's on this particular uh, level making it much easier to see the Super Zapper has got a very good sound effect to it it's got a good warp effect to it much more fluent and much more quicker and just a real joy actually a real pleasant surprise find uh, and yeah better than the Spectrum but I put my hands up to it and I admit it right now. I just think it's very, very, very good uh, version indeed. So we're going to give it a few goes now and see how far we can get to it, uh, get through it. I don't know um, how well I can do it, um, but we'll see, won't we? Let's give it a shot. Right, uh, I'm going to play with joystick if I can get the thing started. Right, there we go. Now press enter to start, one well, player game. Right, I press fire button, there we go. Right. Let's see how far we can get. And it's got actually got a bigger play area as well. Let's see, look how fast that's going around. That's so much quicker than the Spectrum version. Much quicker. Um, I was shocked when I first uploaded uh, 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 loaded this in and, and saw it in action. I thought, no way. Pleasantly shocked. Pleasantly surprised. And the Super Zapper, which I'll do in a second. It's got a great effect to it. Here we go. Listen to that, I think that's really cool. There you are, there's the warp bit, uh, um, part of it. I just think that was really cool, a great sound effect. Great sound effect. Hardly any sound effects at all the Spectrum Vision. There's no music, unlike the Amstrad. Usually in most games it's the other way around. Uh, the sound effects are much better in this version. The different colours for the enemies are obviously are much better than the Spectrum version because that was the same colour as the grid, but as you can see, this is a blue grid and we've got white aliens, so you can see them a lot easier. And uh, certainly not a bad sound effect when you're firing. But then look at that, it's so much quicker than the, than the Spectrum version. I'm very, very, very pleasantly surprised. Yep. I've got to put my hands off to this version, they're very, very good. Uh, I don't know why it didn't come out in 64 though. Oh, you got away with that. Get you this time. Boof. There you go. Warp set. Uh, I, that's a nice effect too. Oh, we go on some red levels. Um, yeah, it never came out in the 64. I don't know why. So, the official Tempest conversion by Electric Dreams only came out on two formats. The Spectrum and the Amstrad CPC. And I think it was re-released later on, where when you bought it, it had the Spectrum version on one side of the tape and the Amstrad on the other side. Now I've got the original um, Spectrum release, and this version you, you're watching now, I actually downloaded from uh, an Amstrad ROM site, and it's playing through my original Amstrad CPC, 464. But yeah, it's... Um, I mean, yeah, it's still way off the arcade classic. Certainly you can't uh, compare it to the arcade. But the playability is there, it's, the movement's there, it's, it's all there. 
Let's do that. I love that. That's a really great sound effect. Oh, that same level was level one. That was a bit soon. Was it a different colour? But 90 plus levels. I think it's 99. I'm not sure. I had it running on demo mode earlier, and it showed levels up to about 94. I think. And it went back to level one. So whether it's got any more than that, or it's just keeping secret, I don't know. Yeah, the actual playing field is much bigger than the Spectrums too. So everything that usually is in the Spectrum's advantage compared to the Amstrad version is the other way around in this case. Pleasantly surprised indeed. Ooh, we were getting close. Oh, damn it, quick. Yeah, gotcha. Now you can do that super zapper by even pressing the space bar or quickly waggling the joystick with a fire button and it will it will release the super zapper. Keep in line and kill him. I don't want him getting away. Gotcha. Blue level. Blue level with green, I think it is. Yeah, green. So you can certainly see them a lot better in this version. So I'm uh, um um ooh. You got to the end, didn't you? Uh, Tempest was was my very first uh, favourite arcade machine uh, game. <clears throat> Sadly, it's been 30 odd years since I've seen it or played it. I don't know if I'll ever get to play it in my lifetime again on the actual machine. You know, with the um, uh, with the vector man uh, vector man uh, vector manager vector. Screen is what I'm trying to say. Monitor. Oh, have I lost? Oh, I've got no super zaps. I'm going to die in this level. Oh, well, there we go. First life. That's the same as the Spectrum. Yeah, great, great uh, choice of sound effects. Definitely. Yeah, give them that. But sometimes it still can be a bit hard to see. Get rid of you lot. You only get one super zapper a level though. So you've got to be careful. Uh, you want to get the um, yeah these X's, those things first, because they come up the tube a lot quicker. The squares take their time. So you can uh, always deal with the X's first. Oh, that's close, that's close. Uh, I don't think I've got another super zap, which I haven't. This little X is not dying in a hurry. Uh, we got him that time. Oh! Christ, it's getting a bit... Damn! I don't know if I can complete this level now with those at the top. Damn it. Will it let me go past the level? Sometimes you can actually, you don't have to kill everything and it will let you let you walk, but I got a feeling that's not going to happen in this version. Come on, die, will you? Die, 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 die. Oh, there we go, see? Got away with that. I wonder why it was never released on 64. It was an official... Uh, release. It was a uh, official software house, Electric Dreams. I'm sure they did 64 games. So why can they release a 64 version? In fact, the Commodore never really got uh, a Tempest game, did it really? Not a good one anyway. Not the one I know of. Fingers can get a bit tired though from all the bloody pressing because it's quite. You have to fire a hell of a lot of bullets to get rid of these. Whoa, get rid of the X's. Don't like them things. They're not very good. I think I've got this uh, Quick Shot 2 Turbo, so if my one finger gets tired, I can use the other finger on the other button. So that's what I like about this joystick. We're all getting close as well, coming in. Oh, I see another one coming up. Ah, I didn't get back to him in time. Damn it. Am I going to get past this level? 
Like one life left. So yeah, it's certainly not um, arcade perfect. For start off, the layouts are completely different. Very different looking levels, and uh, the levels change colour every two levels. Unlike uh, the arcade Tempest, you have to complete 16 stages before you go into the next colour. Sapper, haven't I? Let's, get, let's use it. There we go. Yeah, the Spectrum, I'll be honest with you, the Spectrum version can't touch this when it comes to pretty much everything. The sound effects, the look of the game. Come on, let's get trying to get past this level. Come on. Don't watch those X's, they're the fast ones. Oh, we might do it now. Let's use that. Oh no, I haven't got one. Damn. We'll get rid of them then. Yeah, I should do this now. That'll speed it up a bit now. Is that it? Is there one right down there? No, oh, bloody hell. Gotcha. What we got now then? Oh, blue again. That's three levels in a row, isn't it, that colour? Yeah, Tempest, I mean, it is a classic, no doubt about it, uh, but whether you like it or not, that's another thing. But it will go down as one of the all-time classic arcade games of the 80s. That's for sure. I'd just love to play it again on the arcade machine. I'd just like to play it again and see it through the vector monitor, the XY monitor, because it was... Um, Gave the game this sort of high definition look. Wonderful to look at. You just can't recreate it on a normal television. It's impossible. What else we got? Oh no, whoa, bloody hell. That's the thing as well, when you use your super zapper, they seem to come back with pretty angry. Much faster. Ah, I should do this now. Yeah. There we go. Oh, again. Oh, well. Maybe it was a slightly different colour last time. <clears> hmm. <throat> got another life, that's cool. God, your fingers get knackered off. I've got to be honest with you. It's very... Uh, tiring to keep pressing this fire button and the auto fire. Um, I don't know how good the auto fire is uh, on it. Um, my auto fire is, is shit hot, it really is. But Amstrad's sure a very funny computer because you couldn't just plug a normal joystick into it, you had to have uh, a joystick that was uh, Amstrad 464 anyway, compatible. Uh, a separate switch on some joysticks to do it. So the auto fire, it doesn't detect auto fire uh, on this particular joystick I've got in my hands. Yeah, I see you. Get up there. Whoa, I see you up too. Yeah, it's close to. Let's use that again. How will it? Yeah, I do like that sound. Oh, okay. Ah, yellow one. Slightly different colour. Uh, not different colour now. That's cool. That's a bit odd, though. To, to go left, you've got to push right. To go right, you've got to go left. So that, that threw me off just for a second. Well, you think this level will be easier? You can see him coming straight at you in these lanes. A lot easier. I suppose, in a way, it is. Yeah. 
the sun is gone. Take that. Yeah, they definitely come back faster when you use your zapper, so you've got to be careful with it. It sort of pisses them off. <laughs> certainly plenty of shapes, that's for sure. So I, I don't really know what the auto is like on certain joysticks, but you might need it. Yeah, I can't remember why I I, um, I found this game, or I don't think I was playing Tempest on the Switch and I thought, oh, I'll have a look at the Amstrad version. I don't know how it happened. I think there might have been um, some footage somewhere on YouTube. I bumped into it and thought, oh yeah, there is one. Okay, I'll download it. Yes, there was an official release. It's three lives now. God, my fingers are dying. My fingers are absolutely dying here. Yeah, I have um. There's a game on the Amiga, which is the closest to Tempest. Ah, ah, oh. and that's called Vector Storm. I did a Let's Play of that some weeks ago, in fact, a couple of months ago now, and a normal video of it. But the trouble is with that game, um, it all seem to be blue. All the grids seem to be blue. There's no variety. But it's got a fantastic warp sequence. Best part of the game, that Vector Storm on Amiga. Check it out on my channel. Fingers, Jesus. Come on, die. Oh yeah, bloody hell, I forgot about that. You can do it with the joystick. I, I forgot. You keep your finger on it and waggle the joystick and it releases your super zapper. I didn't mean to use that then. I think I'm dying in a hurry, are they? I'm not sure if there's a timer on the levels or it's just a matter of um, how many uh, bad is it cops out at you. And you just have to keep plunging away until it stops sending them down the tube. I'm not sure about that one. Ah, finally. Gotcha. Level 10. It's getting a bit harder now because that, that pathway at the top is very short. I mean, the Spectrum version certainly isn't bad. It's um, detailed enough, but the sound effects are very um, limited, I should say. Excellent uh, version of it. <clears throat> Don't forget, this is an 8-bit machine without a vector monitor, <clears throat> so it's not. Um... Oh, 
it's not going to be as good to look at compared to the arcade version, that's for sure. It doesn't give it that speed of it, the effect. But, that in mind, if you like Tempest, I think you'll be alright with this. I think you might, um, you might enjoy it. There's not as many... It doesn't go for it, it, the same sort of level design, though. So every 16, unlike the arcade version, this version um, is different every two levels. And it changes colour every two levels, just to make it a little bit more interesting. Oh, bloody hell, my fingers. Oh, I didn't mean to use that. <coughs> But it worked. Now that level looks very similar to the one on the arcade. I remember that level. Oh, we got these things now. Yeah, these um, spikes. Yeah, these spikes. A little bit. Whoa, you bastard. Yeah, I think Amstrad players could have done a lot worse for this version, a lot worse. Jeez, as soon as spikes suddenly go at me. Yeah, be careful of them. Oh shit, I didn't see them. I saw something come down here, but I, did, I wasn't looking at it. I've got a feeling. Yeah, you get to one level, and a certain level, and then you start losing all your lives. Ever played games like that? You cruise through the levels and there's this one bastard level that just takes all your lives. And I didn't need to use that. So you've got to be careful. If you're using joystick and you're rapidly firing away, you can really see your super zapper. And that could make all the difference in the world. Oh, I've only got one of these. Oh, no, I haven't. I didn't think I used it. Oh, God, I'm going to die. I'm gonna die. There's no way I'm gonna get past this. Look at these spikes. Stars and flippers. Why do you, what, what do you call them? I don't know if they're called flippers or what. Ah, oh, there's no way out of that. Come on, I'm definitely losing all my lives now, that's for sure. Okay. Come on, let's see if we can get past this level. Come on, come on. Uh, you can play with keyboard. That's sometimes easy. In fact, I did that on the Spectrum. Just one key for left, one key for right, and the fire button. Two fire buttons, of course. One for the super zap. Which I'm going to use with my joystick now, like that. Get rid of you lot. feeling I've met my maker. Oh, I have. There we go. I like this bit as well. Watch this. <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. That does that on the Spectrum too. So there you go. Tempest on the Amstrad CPC. Very good. And uh, Full screen as well. That's top to bottom That on my television. That's uh, touching the top where it says player one, player two, and that's touching the very bottom where the scrolling is. So it uses a full vertical play area. Um, not often see very big play areas on Amstrad games. They're usually smaller than the uh, Spectrum and 64 versions of those uh, of their games. But um, yeah, I'm very very impressed with this. Actually, I was quite pleasantly surprised when I loaded it and played it, and I thought, wow, this is. I got a minute. I've got to put my hands up. Can't deny it to myself. And I do try to be as non-biased as possible, whether I like a machine better or not. If the game's better on the machine I don't usually like, I will say so. And this game result out of Spectrum and Amstrad. The Amstrad gets it, no doubt about it. So there you go guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, Amstrad Let's Play of Tempest and until next time, take care and happy gaming.